it's that I was making that dinner for him after I'd figured out what my caloric window was. And so that day, I knew that I was already at my, my window. For me, my window right now is 1,400 to 1,600 calories a day. So I'd already had it, and, and yet I could have eaten that, and that would have been an extra two, three, 400 calories maybe at the most, which is not a lot, but still, that keeps me in maintenance mode. So to me, this was this huge first, whoa, holy shit moment. Like, this is what's been keeping me from losing weight. Not my Hashimoto's, it's just I've been eating too much. People, you can be the healthiest person on the planet. You can shop at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's all freaking day. If you are not counting what you're eating, and so many of us are doing this, and a lot of women, because I used to be one of them, the number one thing they'll say when I say you've got to count your calories, you've got to write it down, you've got to put it in my fitness pal. Oh, life's too short. If life's, you know, life's too short, I don't want to be recording all that stuff. Blah 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 blah. blah. You're the same woman, because I was. You're the same woman that's going in your closet going, I can't believe nothing fits me. I'm so depressed. Why is this tight on me? I don't want to go to the gym. I'm embarrassed. I'd pay anything if I could just lose 20 pounds. And then somebody tells you how to do it and you're like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to record that. I don't want to give up my wine. You can't have it both ways, lady. And, and, and I'm the same person. I was the same person who was like, I don't think I ever said, I'm not going to record my food. I just thought it was a drag. But the truth is, if you, if you are unhappy enough in your body and you want a certain level of fitness, then there's a certain amount of work you gotta do. It's just like making money. If you wanna become a millionaire, there are steps you have to take every single day. If you're not willing to do it, then you're not gonna be a millionaire and accept it. So make a choice, okay? So number one, that was my first major aha moment. And you know why it didn't get me angry? For, for a minute it got me angry because I thought of all the time I've wasted. And I thought like, wow, if I just kept it basic instead of going, oh, it's this right perfect proportion of carbs and protein and, and it's got to be organic and it's got to be this. Like I could have been losing weight on lean cuisine. Not that I'm recommending that. I'm making a point. We get hung up on all the wrong things. Oh, I'm not having enough kale. Oh, I can't eat fruit because that's carbs. I can't have diet soda because it'll turn into insulin and that'll make my body store fat. All that stuff is just bullshit. It's, it's, it's so simple, it's back to basics. That was part one. And that was really what started getting me going, whoa, like that's the simplest thing. And you know why I'm sharing this in such great detail in this group? Because every single woman in this group, I don't care if you wanna lose five pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, it doesn't matter how you're gonna do it. Just figure out your caloric deficit. It doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter if you're on the pill, if you're not on the pill. If you are not going to give this caloric deficit thing a absolute gung-ho for the next 90 days, whenever it is that you watch this video, if you see this video on December 30th, say you're gonna do it for the next 90 days, then you are crazy to say that you can't lose weight. And I will say that because I said it to myself. If you cannot, because let me tell you this, I can't look back and go, I've been spot on for 90 days. Cause I know I haven't, I've been tracking. It wasn't until I saw this. And then I actually realized when, when I shared with you guys that time that I was standing at the counter and Steve was coming home from a trial late at night and I was making him that dinner. I'd hit my caloric window. That just like the last video I posted in here on Saturday, that day, when I was standing there making the grilled zucchini and, and about to have a couple bites of that grilled zucchini. Now, you guys could be watching this going, is she really going to say that a couple of bites of grilled zucchini is going to blow it? It's the point, guys. It's the principle. You can't have it both ways. You can't sit there and say, I want to lose weight and know. And here's the thing, you know, I said of all ages, let's get real. As you get older, watching your calories is is a key even it's it's even more important those of you that are 25 without hormonal issues you know yeah maybe you could get away with with being active and having those extra bites of zucchini and it's not going to bother you but too many calories is too many calories when you want to lose weight and i sat there and i'm like you know what do you know how many days in any kind of similar situation that I would have sat down and said, you know what, this is chicken, this is good, this is good protein, this is healthy fats, I'm gonna have it. And I wouldn't have thought I was binging, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. And that's what has kept me where I'm at. So, number one challenge to you, 
commit that starting today, whenever it is that you watch this video, and and it doesn't it doesn't have to this isn't a special diet, it's just you going, you know what? Next 90 days, I'm going to give myself the gift. This is part of your your year of you first. I owe it to myself to see, you know, if you want to bet me, bet me. Dare dare yourself to, to do the caloric deficit, I will help you figure out what your macros are. Again, please, just full disclosure, there's a lot of trainers in here. I'm not a trainer, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just somebody who learned it from somebody else. I'll tell you how I did it, because it's not rocket science. I don't believe you have to be a trainer or a dietitian. I'm not gonna tell you to eat a thousand calories a day. I'm not gonna tell you anything crazy. I'm gonna tell you to be sensible and eat enough. But I just want full disclosure. I'm not a doctor. I just look like I play one on a soap opera. So. That's point number one. I challenge you to head into the holidays and say, I'm gonna give 90 days of a caloric deficit my all. Now, that leads me into point number two, probably 85 minutes later. Point number two is, you might hear me say, start a caloric deficit heading into the holidays. Those two things don't fit together. This is why they do, okay? So, those of you that are into fitness, health, and wellness might be watching this going, are you gonna talk about macros? To keep it simple, for those of you that are newer to fitness and health and wellness and losing weight, I'm not gonna get into macros. That's kind of like the next level up of tracking calories. Let's keep it simple for, for the purposes of this discussion. So, you figure out that, like, I'll use myself as an example. For me to lose weight, I need to be consuming between 1,400 and 1,600 calories. Um, 1600 is a slower rate of weight loss. If I, if I go to 1400, that's a, um, a, a slightly faster rate of fat loss. So I'm varying that between some days. Some days are lower, some days are higher. Now, the reason that I'm gonna tell you that you should feel really good about caloric deficit, and I know either Kim, you brought this up in one of my videos earlier, um, or somebody else did, um, is this, when you're going into the holidays, you wanna be able to enjoy yourself on Thanksgiving. You wanna be able to sit around and watch TV the next day and have turkey sandwiches and, and whatever. Um, you wanna be able to have Christmas cookies, right? You wanna be able to go to Christmas Eve dinner and have champagne and cocktails and all the things that are really high calories. So how can you maintain a caloric deficit and do that? That's where you get a little bit more proactive with your planning. If you're very new to this, I'm happy to help you. Um, this is where if, you're, if you get comfortable with like tracking your macros, this is really where the concept of what they call flexible dieting comes in. Um, and, and essentially what you do is you're kind of taking a step back and, and looking at the week, right? Our bodies aren't tracking calories like we are. We're just tracking calories in a 24 hour window same reason why we have clocks, you know? The world doesn't know that it's 12 o'clock here or four o'clock in China. The world just turns. We're the ones that have put a clock on it so that we know, I don't know, whatever it is that we know. So for your body, your body isn't going, oh, it's Thursday now, we've got to you know, reset our caloric clock. Your body doesn't work that way. That's more of a, met a, a method of measuring for us. So let's say it's Thanksgiving week and you know that your caloric window is 1,600 calories a day, right? So if you measured 1,600 calories times seven days, you would measure that out and you would say, here's my total amount of calories. For me, if I wanted to be safe and say I really want to enjoy myself on, on Thanksgiving, I would assume that I, if I wanted to not pick and measure all of my, and who does? Who wants to go to Thanksgiving with a scale and weigh everything and go, oh, champagne, that's great, but only four grams. Nobody wants to do that. Assume that you're gonna have like double. Assume you're gonna have 3,000 calories. Some of you are gonna go, oh my God, I never have it. Trust me, you could easily have 3,000 calories. You could easily also have 1,500 calories. Tell yourself you're gonna have 3,000 calories. So that means that for Thanksgiving week, you've got to shave off an extra uh, 1,500 calories throughout the other six days. So six days goes into 1,500, what? That's about 200 calories. So you, so you cut that, or you could get more creative if, if you're familiar with intermittent fasting. You could incorporate one fast. You know, that can, I mean, ultimately what you're doing is you're, 
you're balancing out your calories. You're gonna let yourself have a little bit more that day and then you're gonna kind of balance it out the rest of the week. That's why to me, focusing on that caloric deficit, if you get to the end of the week and you still have, you know, whatever 1600 is times, let's see, 600 times seven is 400, okay, I'm not good at math. <laughs> whatever that is, then you're good. So to me, that's why this caloric deficit thing is a gift because caloric deficit is just, it is. Whether, whether you wanna do it paleo or vegan or whole 30 or if you just want to be using weight watchers if you want to be using lean cuisines it's not telling you not to have bread or carbs or fruit i mean yeah can you level up once you started losing weight and, and focus on better choices of food absolutely but keep it simple to start so that's number two i told you why, how I, why and how I discovered caloric deficit, why it's so key, why I think it's so key for pretty much everybody here in this group and anybody, any woman who's stuck at weight loss, I guarantee you has not been tracking her food and is probably eating too much. Many of you could also be eating too little and then putting your body into fat storage mode, but that's where I thought I was. I thought I was in the, you know, putting my body into fat storage mode and the truth is, is I was eating too much healthy food, period and you watch what I'm gonna do over the next 90 days. Now, lastly, I shared with you that when I was uh, in Phoenix this past weekend, I was at Isogenics World Headquarters. If you've been following me for the past couple of months, you know that, and I posted a video actually detailing this experience on my YouTube channel. I will link it up in here so you can watch that. But ultimately, for some ungodly reason, I had been having bloating, feelings of just utter gassiness, um, always feeling full, bloating, gassy, uh, indigestion, just not digesting my food. My elimination was off. This was like three or, probably not three or four months, probably about two months where after I moved down here to San Antonio, I just was bloated all the time. After every single meal and I was not changing my diet, um, I also for the first time in my life was having problems with being regular. It wasn't that I wasn't going to the bathroom, it's just that I wasn't as regular as I was. And I couldn't, no matter what I did, I could not fix this problem. That's how I stumbled on Isogenics products. I'd heard of the company before, never paid it any mind. But then I was exposed to it three or four times. I heard that they had sucralose free, plant-based protein, and that's what I was looking for. So I ordered a big box that had cleanse stuff in it, uh, plant-based protein, organic greens, adaptogens, the vitamins, all this stuff. And within about, I don't know, five to 10 days of taking the products, all of those problems were just like, bye-bye. So I wanna be very careful and not make claims to say, hey, these products will solve all of your indigestion. But typically most people that have any kind of issues, gut issues, whatever, experience tremendous health improvement um, with these Isogenics nutritional products. They're just pure, full of nutrition. They did wonders for me. And that's why I have been like expanding my use of Isogenics products and continuing to be obsessed with this, which is the energy drink I've been talking about, 10 calories, based, energy based out of nothing but like fruits and vegetables, all adaptogens, completely all natural, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial colors, no artificial nothing, and also um, caffeine free, and it is wonderful. Um, but anyway, I wanna make sure that I say the, the right things. Oh, I'm explaining why I was in Phoenix. So I was exposed to isogenic products. I'll put the video below so you can understand a little bit more. Um, they really help my health. And so now not only am I using all the products, my man is using all the products. Um, a lot of people that followed me, I shared how I was just so relieved that I could go to yoga class and not worry about like, ex <laughs> I was just like worried I was gonna go to yoga class and be farting all through the class because I was just bloated all day, every day after every single meal. Um, and bathroom issues, um, feeling gassy, just feeling like I wasn't digesting food. And so to feel better was a huge gift to me. Um, and then incidentally, once I took a bigger look at the company and I saw all the products they had, it basically was, here's the long and short of it. Um, I was just shooting a video on this actually too. Um, everything I've learned about wealth, not wealth, excuse me, 
wellness and health from my doctor, from the experts that I've interviewed on the podcast, um, just that I've learned from books, things that have been positive in my life, like everything that I've learned taking digestive enzymes every day, taking probiotics, pre prebiotics, um, essential fatty acids, why those are good for you, why they're so critical, um, the, the difference in whey proteins, um, casein versus whey protein versus undenatured whey protein, um, why it's important to cut out the, the supplements in your life that have sucralose in it, like all the stuff I've been learning the past three years was, was informing me so that I could go make uh, purchase decisions to improve my health. And I was buying all of these products at Vitamin Shop, online, whatever. And then I get exposed to some of these Isogenics products. They make such a huge impact in my health. And then I realized they carried all these products that I'm buying anyway, and they're a better version. And a lot, many times they're a better price. The greens that I, you guys see me taking every morning, I used to use a company called Athletic Greens. Theirs are like $75 a month. Our organic greens are $35 a month or $40 a month. Um, so I decided to make uh, Isogenics actually one of my three primary forms of income. So now this is a business venture of mine and it's one of the best decisions that I've ever made and that's why I was out in Phoenix uh, meeting some of the founders of the company, um, uh, taking a tour of headquarters, meeting uh, you know my upline and meeting some amazing people. And one of the people that I got to learn from is actually the guy that formulated this. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. He's going to be on the podcast. I think it's Dr. Joshua Plant. So if you guys wanna look him up, I will link him up below. Harvard Educated Science. I mean, this guy's like, he should be on like NASA. He's like that smart. And he came to Isogenics because he believes firmly in helping people get healthier. And he shared some stats in this meeting that were just, I mean, everything he said was just mind blowing to me. He was talking about the fact that 85 to 95% of cancers are caused by lifestyle, um, which is diet, right? What we eat and our environment, meaning toxic exposure to toxic products, right? BPAs, um, the things that are in our couch, our cleaning materials, all of that kind of stuff. We are exposed to that on a regular basis and cancers so, so many people think, oh, my mom had breast cancer, I'll have breast cancer, like that's how you get it. It's no, it's lifestyle and toxins. Things are really bothering me. Um, I'm gonna be wrapping up here, inevitably. So, he was talking about that and you know, people said, well, if you're basically like, if you're this brilliant, why would you come to Isogenics? Why come to a network marketing company? And he's like, look, what this company is doing with health and wellness and anti-aging and nutrition this is where I want to be. And you know, the, the first product he helped them design and launch was this Bia. Um, I'm obsessed. I now hardly drink diet soda anymore because I'm obsessed with this. And for those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know that's a big damn deal because I've been obsessed with diet soda for a long time. And now I drink this. Um, so he was talking about this and then you know, they were asking him like, what's the crux of nutrition and wellness? And he started talking about intermittent fasting. And in my brain, I was kind of like, you know, cause those of you that have known me know, I started doing intermittent fasting back in 2008 when Eat Stop Eat came out. So I, I used it back then. It certainly was very easy for me to do because I just drank diet soda all day. Um, and that's how I lost weight. And then in 2017, I did faster weight of fat loss. Um, and then fast forward to 2018, um, that's when I really started working with this dietitian. I had adrenal burnout. I was told a lot of bad advice and I just, I wasn't doing fasting anymore because I was told not to. Um, I was told that it would ha not be ideal for my adrenal fatigue. And I was also told not to work out and I was told to eat a lot more food and I, ultimately gained weight. Very unhappy place for me last year. Um, but I, I started listening to this guy talk about intermittent fasting and for me, I haven't really been practicing intermittent fasting um, lately because frankly, it's been nice to eat breakfast and, and full meals um, for a while. So um, when, when he started talking about fasting, I really wasn't thinking about it for myself. But when he started mentioning cleanse, and doing a cleanse, I wanted, I wanted to learn because to me, even though I bought 
when I first bought products from Isogenics, um, it came with cleanse products and I didn't, I hadn't used them and I wasn't really thinking about doing a cleanse because I don't know, part of me thought that, um, you know, you'd be on the toilet all day. Part of me thought that it was kind of this sort of overly trendy thing to do, like detox teas or whatever. And really he addressed that right away. And he started explaining why we should cleanse potentially even once a week. Now this is why I want to have him on the podcast because I want him to go into greater detail on this and I'm going to do some research on it. So I'm paraphrasing him, but really what he said was our bodies are exposed to so many toxic chemicals, even if we're eating really healthy with plastics, with this, with that, with our shaker cups, right? With everything. So if you have all those toxins, you know, there's only so much you can do by eating better to cleanse your body. And what happens when you do a cleanse, the way that they've designed their products is to support a cleanse where you are doing a 24 to 36 hour maximum of 48 hour fast. And in that fast, and this reinforces what my doctor has told me, if you do a fast over 24 hours, your body will essentially, I'm paraphrasing, it's like when you reboot a computer. It's like your body, you, you reset it and it will, again, I'm paraphrasing, making it ridiculously simple. It's like it's gonna shed a lot of the toxins. So this is less about weight loss and more about health, wellness, all of the toxic stuff that's building up. This is a way on a regular basis that we can all um, kind of flush the system. That's maybe why they even have um, something that goes with the cleanse called Isoflush.